Привет, and welcome to lesson 2 of my Russian language course. I am your host, Dmitry Slomov. In this lesson, we shall learn how to present ourselves and how to ask the name of a person. And, well, we may even want to present our friends. Ready? Fine. Хорошо. Imagine you are meeting a Russian-speaking person, whom you want to get acquainted with. And you find it is a good time to tell him or her your name. In English, you would say, my name is, say, John, or what your name is. In Russian, we say it a little bit differently. It is something like, one calls me John, or me they call John. Me in Russian, меня. Меня. Starts like me, but with ня at the end. Меня. They call зовут. Once more, зовут. Зовут. My name is John. Меня зовут Джон. Or whatever your name is. As for me personally, меня зовут Дмитрий. Now, you may put your player on pause and say it a few times. Меня зовут your name. Speaking to Russians, you will need this phrase, so you better get prepared. Very good. Now, you would probably want to know the other person's name. In English, you would ask, what is your name? In Russian, we say it a little bit differently. It is actually, how are you named? Or, how do they call you? Remember, меня зовут Джон. Me, they call John. So, how... You they call. Remember how we say how in Russian? Как. Very good. They call зовут. Зовут. You, in case you are not doing something yourself, but you are being done to, you sounds тебя. Some more times. Тебя. Тебя. What's your name or how are you being called? Как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? Now let's have some fun. Put your player on pause and ask it in Russian what is its name. Do it a couple of times. Then find some more objects or maybe persons if they want to hear you speak in Russian and ask them what are their names. You may even respond for them, in Russian, of course. Do it until you become familiar with this phrase. Very good. Now, imagine you want to present your friend to a Russian-speaking person. Let's say you are walking together with your friend Jeff, and you meet your Russian friend Petya. After greeting him, Привет, Петя! and asking him about his affairs, Как дела? You may want to present Jeff to Petya. In English you would say, this is Jeff. In Russian you say, this is это. Once more, это. Это. Now, say yourself, this is Jeff. Это Jeff. Very good, very good. Хорошо. Now, present me a couple of your friends. Very good. Now, after having heard the name of a person, we usually say, nice to meet you. In Russian, we say it, of course, slightly differently. We say, very pleasant, like, it's very pleasant to me to get acquainted with you. But this whole phrase is too formal, indeed. So you better say, very, in Russian, очень, очень, like, очень, очень, pleasant, Приятно. 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 Nice to meet you. Очень приятно. Очень приятно. Now, John wants to get acquainted with Петя. So he says, Как тебя зовут? And Петя replies, Меня зовут Петя. And John again, Очень приятно. Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Петя. 
Очень приятно. And Peter wants to ask John, and what's your name? So he is using the word and to sort of return the question. This kind of and in Russian sounds а. А как тебя зовут? And what is your name? А как тебя зовут? Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Петя. А как тебя зовут? А меня зовут Джон. Очень приятно. Очень приятно. Джон could say, my name is John. Меня зовут Джон. But he has chosen to say, and my name is John. А меня зовут Джон. А меня зовут Джон. Петя is not alone. He is with his girlfriend Anna. He wants to present her to John too. And uh, John presents Jeff. Listen. Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Петя. А это Анна. А как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Джон. А это Джефф. Очень приятно. Очень приятно. Петя understands that John is a foreigner. So he asks him, where do you come from? In Russian it goes like, from where you? From where? Откуда? Откуда? You, in this case, is ты. Like the in Old English. Ты. Ты. Remember, when asking как тебя зовут, you were receiving some action. You are called. Therefore, it is тебя. But here, John himself comes from some place. He is receiving no action. So it is not тебя, it is just ты. Откуда ты? Откуда ты? John replies, I am from America. I, in Russian, is just the opposite from English. In English, I, in Russian, я. 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 Am, one does not say it in Russian. So it's like, I, from America. From, is. Like uh, our usual is in English. But in Russian it means from. From America is Ameriki. America sounds in Russian America. But from America is Ameriki. See, the final A in the word America has changed to E. This phenomenon of changing the end of the word is named case. And Russian language has some of them. The good news is that in our course you do not have to learn them all by heart. You just drill the phrases and at some moment you may become able to use the right case all by itself. Just go on. So, America, America. From America, is Ameriki. England, Anglia. From England, is Anglii. By the way, many Russians do not differ between England, Wales or Scotland. This is all Anglia for them. Germany, Germania. From Germany, is Germanii. France, Francia. From France, is Francii. Russia, Rossiya. From Russia, is Rossiii. In the next lesson, you will get some more places, so you may choose yours. John comes from America. And he says, I'm from America. And he asks Peter, and what about you? So John says, Я из Америки. А ты? Peter replies, А я из России. Now, John wants to ask about Anna. Where's she from? She, Anna. Like maybe Anna herself. Anna. Anna. Where is she from? Откуда она? Откуда она? Anna is from Germany. So Peter says, 
Она из Германии. Она из Германии. And uh, John, presenting Jeff, says that Jeff comes from England. He, on, on, like, uh, you know, boys climb the trees more often than the girls. So, he is on the tree. Петя asks, откуда он? And John says, он из Англии. Джефф из Англии. Откуда он? Он из Англии. Very good. Let's listen to a dialogue. Откуда ты, Петя? Я из России. А откуда ты? Я из Америки. А откуда Анна? Она из Германии. Откуда Джефф? Он из Англии. Хорошо. Хорошо is often used in the meaning of okay, fine. And this is what Peter has just said. Now, listen to this dialogue spoken in a fast manner. Most probably this will be the speed at which you will hear your Russian friend speaking. If you find it too difficult, you may better listen to the slow version of this dialogue and then start with the faster. You may listen to this dialogue a few times until you recognize each word in it. Как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Петя. А это Анна. А как тебя зовут? Меня зовут Джон. А это Джефф. Очень приятно. Очень приятно. Откуда ты, Петя? Я из России. А откуда ты? Я из Америки. А откуда Анна? Она из Германии. Откуда Джефф? Он из Англии. Хорошо. Good job. Very good. Очень хорошо. Very well done. Now, that's enough for this time. Thank you for staying with me through this lesson. And I'll be glad to meet you in the next one. Пока!